hello friends today we are going to solve one more problem which is related to the projection line portion of time but that is a little bit ahead of the last problem so let's see what is the problem is a line pq has its end p 10 mm behind the vp and 20 mm below the hp its end point q is 30 mm behind the vp and 40 mm below the hp the distance between the end projectors is 40 mm draw the projections of line pq draw its true length find its true length and inclination with the hp and vp so see in this problem the position of point p is given in the problem as well as the position of q point is also given and the distance between the end projectors means distance between the projector of p and q is given in this problem it means the front view of the point front view of point p and q is both are given and top view of p and q are both given it means in this problem the front view and top view of this line is given in the problem so we'll start this problem so the end point q p is 10 mm behind the vp and 20 mm below the hp it means the p point is in the third quadrant and when the point is in third quadrant its front view will be below xy line and the top view will be above xy line that's why i plot this 10 mm distance behind distance that is above this line xy line which represents our top view and 20 mm below hp it represents front view of this line because this point lies in the third quadrant so this point is the p point and this is the top view of the front view of this point is p dash this is the top view this is the front view then i use this uh, information the end point is p is 10 mm behind the vp and 20 mm below the hp now before going to mark the point q we have to plot the distance between the end projectors that is from P's projectors to the Q's projection these two projectors are 40 mm apart so from P's projector we plot 40 mm on this side on the right side 40 mm and from there the end Q is 30 mm behind the VP and 40 mm below the HP it means the Q point is also in third quadrant that is 30 mm behind VP and 40 mm below HP similar to P point its front view will be below xy line and top view will be above xy line so above this by 30 mm the top view of this point and below 40 mm its front view so this point i denote as a q and this point i denote as a q dash now let's join let us join the top view of the line pq and the front view of line pq now next what is asked this is the front view and top view of the line next what is asked the line pq find its true length and inclination of the line with the hp and the vp so to find out its true length we have to transfer this front view and top view in the uh, vice versa that is a front view and top view and top view in front view so how to transfer this for this we have to see the last problem now see in this problem last problem in the why uh, today's problem the front view and the top view is given to us and it is asked to find out the true length and the true inclination of the line so we are here in this problem so what to do firstly we can rotate if see here if the top view is rotate and then transfer it vertically it will meet with the true length similarly if i rotate this front view and transfer it vertically it will meet with the true length in the top view so this concept we are going to use and the locus of b dash and b1 dash is same so this procedure we are going to use in this problem now let us see how to use this uh, step in this problem so for this firstly we'll draw one horizontal line through p point through p point then take compass in the compass 
take the distance is equal to the PQ that is the top view length and transfer this up to this horizontal line now say this point say Q1 now draw locus of point Q dash in the front view and transfer this Q1 Q1 projection in the front view wherever it intersect with the level of Q dash here I'll get the point Q1 dash and this P Q1 dash represents the true length of the line is the true length of the line same procedure we can repeat in the front view also so for this transfer the projection or horizontal line from the P dash take P dash to Q dash distance in compass and rotate this up to this horizontal line wherever it intersect with this horizontal line that point say Q2 dash Q2 dash then draw locus of Q that we also called as a level line level of Q then project this Q2 dash in the front view wherever it intersect with this line that is Q2 and join this Q2 with the PQ so like this this PQ2 represents the true length also the P dash Q1 dash represents the true length in front view so you can measure any one of this see this is also 50 mm and this is also 50 mm both are 50 mm this means true length of PQ is equal to 50 mm and that it is asked in the problem inclination with the HP and VP so inclination of the HP will uh, visible in the front view the true uh, it means the inclination of the true length in the front view so this is the theta which is the true inclination of the line with the HP and this is the phi that is the true inclination of the line with the VP now measure these angles this theta is equal to it is 23 degree so inclination of the line with the HP is equal to 23 degree and uh, phi is equal to it is 27 degree so phi that is the inclination with the VP is equal to 27 degree so like this we can follow the same steps that we use in the earlier problems so um, the point points are wherever it will be in the first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant fourth quadrant in any quadrant we repeat the same procedure to solve the problem so like this we can solve this problem so if you like this video please click, click on the like button subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so that you can get the new videos whenever I upload it thank you